Welcome back to FC Zelda, everyone, and today we're going to be trying to continue on our Zelda journey that we never really started. Um, I'm really excited to start this and get more in-depth into the game, and uh, from what uh, Raru said to us uh, last time when we left off, uh, I think what we need to do is to get these shrines. Oh, alright, there's a lot of features that don't seem to be available. Find Princess Zelda and the closed door are our two main quests right now. So I think the closed door, yeah, he, it says, he also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. D to do that, visit the island shrines. Okay, so we need to get to the shrine, which is right there. And uh, I also wanted to say just before we really got started in this video, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to post more videos lately. Uh, I've just been really busy, and, uh, it's been hard to, uh, find enough time to, uh, post videos, and, uh, I think as, um, I keep doing this, I'm excited to get into more of a routine, uh, with you guys, and I really want to, uh, just get the, some of these series off the ground, and over the next few weeks we're gonna have some extra videos coming out to make up for what we missed over the last couple of weeks. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun, and I hope that we can, uh, just have a lot of great content coming out. And, uh, thank you, uh, in advance for watching, um, and, uh, I'm really excited to get into this game, and, uh, ooh, this looks interesting. Hmm, shrine. Alright. So that's what happens. Okay. We're into the shrine. Oh, it's Rauru. There he is. There's the man. Oh. Thing. Hmm. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that... Hmm. I believe that this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. <laughs> now then, extend your hand. All right. There's power, I can see that power. There's power. He's given us power. It's a hand. All right. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. The ability to create. Hmm, okay. <laughs> It's L. All right. It's a little harder here, I guess. I'm I don't know if this is probably what you're supposed to do, but I don't really care. It's, it, it, it. All right. Yes. Okay. That was close. I didn't think he was gonna make that. Please. This won't be too hard, but I think I have a relatively idea of what needs to happen here. Right, yeah, take that hook, tilt it like that, burn it, and this onto this board right here, which should be. Oh, don't get away! Come back. Okay, good. And uh, it should carry us right to the shrine. Boom. Yep, there we go. Done. Perfect. Alright. Shrine number one of how many, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, hopefully there's not too many more. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse your you of evil. Okay. I'll take all the cleansing I can get. Wow. Is that just- oh, it's like a little ball. Alright. Okay, that'll work. And some little... red things came up. Like, ooze. 
means. I don't know what that really means. All right, one. Oh, nice, and it restored my heart, too. Thanks. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. I think it will. Just the heart is nice. But I'm glad that we were able to get that back. Ah, there he is again. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine and you will be re and you've restored an ability this is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door at the to the Temple of Time. Great. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The pure pad offers a very useful scope. It's quite handy. All right. Well, Thanks, I guess. I, see, I, I saw one over there. Okay. Get across, we're almost there. And there's the shrine up there, so there's that second shrine that we wanted. I don't know, there's gonna be like these poles. I should probably have thought that through, although I couldn't see them from land. Yep, I'll just jump off and swim the rest of the way. Alright, well, we get on out and let's get to the shrine. Uh, shrine number two. Skip all that. And there it is. Alright. The In Isa Shrine. Oh, there he is again. Oh. So, you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Alright, here we go again. More power! We want that power! We want all the power! Ooh, it's like a sword. I don't know what that means. What is this gonna be? Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby seeing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse it to a nearby object? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Alright. Can't be too hard. Okay. Okay, so now I can like choose between my... Alright, Rusty Claymore. So I've got to like smash- I see what it wants me to- 
Ah, uh, I see you, game. Alright. I guess drop... Well, I'll just drop that one. And then... Go back down to the fuse thing. <laughs> Alright. Now I just have to break through this... Alright. Great. There's a chest up there. I'll take that. Yup. Ooh, and there's like something over there too. Five arrows. Alright, nice. Now what's over here? It's like, ooh, it's another chest. What's this? Fire fruit? Alright. Oh wait, I see what it wants me to do. I see. It wants me to burn that and it'll burn the platform off and then the chest will fall down. I see. Okay. I see you, game. So if I do that and then... Oh, it's a slip. Okay. There it is. Fire. Yep, it's burning. There we go. There's the chest. What's inside? Oh, it's a small key. Alright. Great. That looks useful, especially since it said it can be used in shrines. I bet we need to use it up ahead. Yep, there. that's probably where we needed to use it, isn't it? Yep. Open it up. Yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. Well, the shrine looks like it's almost done. Oh no. What's this? It looks it's bigger. It's a bigger one. And he can fuse stuff too. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Shoot, this is not good. Okay, I guess I'll just burn him. Burn. Oh no, he can shoot too. Hit him. Big hits. Big hits. Oh, we got him. We got him. Ooh, it's a construct bow. That looks better. Ooh, five fuse. Alright, that's good. There's the shrine. Alright, well, we're done. I definitely need hearts. I basically have none anymore. I've got one. It took the other two. Give me that light of blessing. Let's go. Number two is done. The second shrine has been completed. We might be able to get to the third shrine? Oh. Okay. It's the steward construct. I came because there's something I failed to give you. Please, take it. What is that? Alright, well, looks like we're taking it. An energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I've just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate this uh, us utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. Oh, that's too bad. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. Great! Alright, this just seems useful. I hope that, that, that the energy cell is I provided is useful to you. Great, thanks man. We can use that. That seems very useful. Well, it's one of these guys. He'll be easy. Take your things, and we can keep going. Oh, alright. I'll just... I'll take these two guys. Oh, now I have no weapons anymore. Okay, well, now that is apparently gone. Um, I can use this. Yeah. There we go. Get beat. Get beat. Fantastic. It's gone. Let's go. Alright. Oh, there's another one. That shouldn't be too hard. 
shot. All right. Oh, there's another one. There's more coming. I just want to get to his associates. Where are his associates? I don't see his associates. They're nowhere to be seen. Do you want to burn if you attack me? I'll burn you. Oh, it's another one. It's another chest. And you know, like a cooking pot. Ooh, I wonder if we could cook some stuff. What is in it? A soldier reaper. Great. That looks useful. Alright, now, time to cook. Some mushrooms. Guess I can do that, and I'll do this one too. Good. Oh wow, energizing mushroom skewer. Cool. So it like gives me my stamina back, doesn't it? Oh, I have a lot of these mushrooms. Maybe they'll give me more. Fruit and mushroom mix so I can get all my hearts back. Great, that will probably be coming useful because for some reason, I just feel like this is gonna be hard. Discovery. Pondside cave. A white broom seed. All right. Looks useful. Although, I feel like a lot of things are pretty useful. Ah! Like, little bats. And they're all dead. A keese eyeball. So they're called keese. And a keese wing. Alright. I'll take them. I mean, it's better than not having anything. Oh, wow. What's this then? I'll shoot him. What's this? Oh, wow. Okay. Why is he doing it? Alright, that's weird. Alright. What was that? Looks like a little bunny. Now where am I supposed to be going? I don't know. Oh, there's light over there. Ah! Go, go away! What? I thought I- Oh, there's two of them, I see. Ooh, there's a chest right there, I'll take that. What's it gonna give me? Ooh, a shirt! Wow. Alright, that'll help. Great, get that on, Link. We can use a shirt. Since you were just wearing pants, now you have a shirt. Voila! <laughs> oh. Ah, we may have need of these parts. Ah, okay, well, there are more materials near the water available for you to use. It's very difficult. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll be building on our soul, our soul. And there's no wind. I see. So we're supposed to use this. So, I guess I take this. Turn it. Because that is, that is a fan. And then, one, just so it has some balance. Perfect. That looks good. Just pop it in the water. We're sailing, we're sailing, let's go, guys. It's like a powered boat, it's got like a motor. And that must be like how much battery power we have. Oh, Alright, I guess we should do it Alright, here we go. Great. Alright, we made it. Some flint. Okay. Flint, more. And it's more of those things. More of those little stuff. What even are those? Oh, a rush room? So they're like, it's like a ton of mushroom, I guess. Another kind of one. Because we used sky streams before, so I guess this is just another type. Alright. Okay, how far are we from the sh- Alright, how far are we from the shrine? Oh, we're still really far away. Oh, wow. Okay, we have a lot to go. We've only done like half of it. Wow. Okay. We might save this for next episode. Yeah, no, this is way too long. But, we could probably go up ahead and just see what's next. And then, uh, we can leave the rest for, uh, next episode. This has been great. Like, we've gotten really far. I'm happy with the progress we've made, so we just go up here and... Oh, these guys. Right, he's 
bad. It's a bigger one though. Uh, it... ah, damn it. Just hit him. Okay, he's dead too. Okay, good. We don't want the tree branches. We have better weapons now. We don't need tree branches. Because we gotten better than that. They literally do two damage anyway. Okay. Wow, this looks complicated. <laughs> Alright, there's okay, there's there's oh no, it's a big guy. Okay, I don't really want to fight the old them. Um alright. I guess up here then. What is all this? Oh, it's like dark. Alright, a mining cave. Alright. Oh wow. Okay. It's like dark. I guess maybe we maybe those I mean bright is in the name. Maybe if we just throw them at all. Yeah. Exactly, yep. Oh I see what we were what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to get a mine cart and then attach a fan to it to push it along. <laughs> it's faster than walking at least. Turn you around. Oh nice, and it even self attaches for it. Let's go. Dark. Ah. It's just like a wall. Oh, and there's another one of those constructs. Oh. Alright, you'll need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright broom seeds? Oh, what a relief. You should you would otherwise be able you wouldn't be able to see anything. Bright broom seeds grow primarily in caves. There was a time once when they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them. That is because it is especially dark and seeds were very were often necessary. My associates often forgot to bring bright broom seeds. I am posted here to provide a reminder. Use them to light your way and if you proceed ahead, watch your step. Okay. So apparently it's very dark and we can't see anything. It's not that dark. I can still see. We, this isn't even dark. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. No, it is. It is very dark. Alright. I guess we'll use these things then. To light our way. Wow, oh, what's all this? There seems to be quite a operation going on down here. What is all this? Alright. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Alright. Wow. Maybe maybe this one of them can tell me what what all this is. Hmm. Apologies for not noticing you. I was focused on processing zonite. What's that? Oh, you are unfamiliar with it? This is zonite. I mentioned it is a unique material that is that can be mined far beneath the land below. The trace deposits of it in this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our Society flourished by processing these, the substance in our into other materials. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace, where it is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain the shorts and materials the ore can be processed into. The zonite technology is typically powered by zonite charges. There are, there are occasionally solidified into a form known as crystallized charges, converting zonite into other useful materials that in this way is called processing. Alright. Thanks. Oh, so it costs. So you have to- so, okay. I bet we can come back here later and we can get some of this stuff. Ooh, I'll take a fan. I, we don't have any... Could you... Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are is a covenant that means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Okay, thanks. Because I have, I have none. The ones I gave you were fan types. 
that you can deploy them at any time, they will generate wind and when struck. Zorian devices are useful and come in many varieties. I will, I will always carry several with me for any occasion. Men, many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that the device cannot be put back into its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay. Then we probably just need to take one out, don't we? Yeah. Oops, that won't well, be scared of. Great. Thanks, I guess, guy, for helping us out. Fuck <laughs> that on get, get out of my way. Okay. No, 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 don't go without me. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness. Just get in the cart, Link. And hit the fan. Hit the fan. Hit. Okay, finally. That was really weird. I don't know why I wasn't just doing it. Whee! Oh my goodness, this track is like... I can see stuff down there. There's like stuff. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's where we just were. Oh, and there's Raru. Oh, and the shrine's up there. Alright. Oh, wow. Whoa, okay. What do you have to say? The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell when we heard it. In the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Mm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was the place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of the bell stir fond memories into me. Alright. Like, yeah, that is kind of cool. What is that thing? It looks like a big box, dude. Alright. Wow, there's so much in this game. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I think we're just going to leave it here. Uh, next episode, uh, we're going to try to get that third and final shrine up there. And after that, we'll see what happens. But uh, uh, please subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. And uh, please like the video. And uh, again, thank you for watching.